right so welcome back to my channel you guys i am feeling very springy i don't even know if that's a word but with the blue color and all this good stuff i am feeling very springy today i know a lot of people are gonna ask me about this eye look i didn't film it sadly i know i know but all the details will be on my instagram so if you want to know all the products i use on this eye go ahead and head over there but moving on for today's video we're gonna go ahead and do the hot products video which i do love because there's always a lot of products coming out and you kind of get confused on what to buy and what's good and what's not um, I'm just gonna let you guys know what I want to buy and what I don't want to buy and so on um, There's a lot of products coming out I'm always on trend mood on Instagram because she is on it always posting what is coming out So if you guys want to stick around and see what I love and what I will buy or what I wouldn't buy then go ahead and keep on watching okay, So moving on to the first product. This is a KKW times Mario eyeshadow palette Honestly, looking at it, when I first saw it, I was like, you know what, it's a little bit too simple. I don't really need it because a lot of these colors I can see, you know, in the other eyeshadow palettes I do own. But honestly, the more reviews I've seen, the more swatches, I'm just like, okay, you know what, I may go ahead and get this because the colors in here are absolutely gorgeous. She has like bronzy colors, golds, browns, that red brick color is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the blue and the purple, I think it's a very beautiful palette. And for $45, it's honestly not that bad because knowing her, I was expecting it to be like, what, $60 or something crazy. But with that being said, you guys, I do think I'm going to go ahead and pick up this palette. It's $45. It's not a bad price. Um, and the colors are absolutely beautiful. So yes, I am definitely getting it. Oh yeah, so this next product, I was so hyped for it. I was so hyped till I saw the price. So this is a Fenty Beauty Body Lava and I'm just so excited for it because it looks so good. When she put it on her skin in that video, I was like, all right, okay, Riri, I see you. Um, but the price of $60 is a little bit crazy because for Fenty Beauty, a lot of her products are pretty affordable when it comes to high-end products. Her foundation is pretty affordable, the lipsticks. Um, the eyeshadow palette was a little bit expensive, but everything else is pretty affordable in terms of high-end. Um, so for $60, I wasn't expecting that, but at the same time, you guys, I still want to get it because, I don't know, that video just really like made me want to buy it. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do, you guys. I do want to go ahead and pick up brown sugar, um, but for the price, I do not know if I want to go ahead and get it just yet. Um, I may go in stores and swatch it on my body, and if it looks good, I may just go ahead and buy it. So yeah, the body lava, you guys, I mean, I may just go ahead and honestly get it because I don't want to be left out, you know, because if everybody's putting it on their body, looking all glowy and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up too. So yeah, I'm on the fence, but I will probably go ahead and get it. All right, so moving on to Makeup Revolution Foundation Sticks. I am so excited for this because you guys just know I did try on their concealer, and that is so good. I do have it on today, but the foundation stick just looks so promising you can go ahead and use it as a contour stick a highlighting stick and a foundation stick all in one I just love makeup revolution because they're very affordable at first I just didn't like the brand because I felt like they took a lot of products that a lot of people work hard on and just kind of rip it off and make it look you know a little bit cheaper more affordable um, but not that they're kind of doing their own thing I do appreciate it um, so yes as soon as it comes out on their website I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up I do think it's only let's see nine dollars which is not bad at all so with that being said i may go ahead and get it if you guys want to see a review on this please let me know down below because i'll definitely go ahead and do it for you guys okay so i kind of struggle with saying this brand's name jewer or jewer j-o-u-e-r jewer but they did go ahead and come out with 50 foundation shades which i think is so crazy and good um they have so many different skin tones in there from the lightest of the lightest to the darkest of the darkest um, but with that being said, I don't know if they have a shade for me because none of the shades look golden. A lot of them look a little bit muted in color, um, but I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, so I really can't say. But I've heard so many good things about this foundation, you guys. I heard it's very full coverage, but it feels very light on the face. Um, so I may go ahead and get it. To be honest, I don't know if I want to go ahead and get it as bad as I want to because when they first came out with all the foundation shades, they didn't have any for women of color. It was very lacking in that department. So now that they did it, I mean, I feel a little bit better, but at the same time, you know, we're not an afterthought and I really do believe in that. So yes, I may go ahead and pick it up. I don't know yet, but 
we shall see. Okay, so moving on to MAC Fix Plus. You guys know I have recently became a lover of MAC Fix Plus. I think it's one of the best setting sprays I have ever tried because it really does control my oils. But you guys, they come out with the MAC Fix Plus and the matte version, which I'm so excited for because you guys know oily skin girls, we never have a lot of options when it comes to matte setting sprays. So for this, you guys, I am so excited because it looks very promising. I can just see it, you know, really working with oily skin girls, controlling the oils and not making us look greasy to the end of the day so I really don't have much to say about that I'm so excited I really want to go ahead and pick it up so one thing I do want to go ahead and quickly mention is Ulta's having your 21 days of beauty sale so on April 7th I think which is this Saturday the max fix plus is going for $13 which is half the price so if you're looking to go ahead and re-up on it or try it for the first time please go ahead and try it out this weekend all right so moving on to dose of colors it did come out with the set the stone matte cream eyeliner in 10 shades these shades are absolutely gorgeous. Like when I look at it, I'm just like, I want every single one of them. They do go for $20, you guys, which I do think is a lot of money. So let's go ahead and quickly do the math. If you go ahead and buy one, that's $20. Two is forty dollars, and four of those are eighty dollars. Y'all know I suck at math, so correct me if I am wrong. Um, but at the same time, I still want them because you can go ahead and use it as an eyeliner and also as an eyeshadow base. Um, the two I really do want, honestly, is Hit the Road shady and also extra baggage so yes i may go ahead and get these probably one at a time um but they look so pretty and i just want to get every single one of them i'm so sad all right so last but not least is a kkw conceal bake and brighten collection this is so big you guys because i know a lot of people when they first saw it they were like this is what kkw had to bring out the first time this is what they should have brought out the first time um but all the concealers all the baking powders i just really want to go ahead and try it I know a lot of people have a lot of, you know, hate towards the Kardashians and so on, but like I told you guys before, I don't have an issue with them. They don't know me. I don't know them. There's no issue whatsoever. Um, the concealers look so good. The one thing I hate is they give you so little products, but at the same time, I did hear it's very full coverage, so you don't need a lot. Um, but what I'm really excited to try is the powder. The bacon powder looks very promising, the yellow banana powder. I just love bacon powders. You guys know I love setting powders on my channel. Whenever I get a chance to review it, I go ahead and do that. Um, so yes, this collection, I really want to go ahead and try. Oh, so one thing I do want to mention before I forget is the brightening powder, the one in orange. Why is there an orange powder? Because I don't understand that whatsoever. She came out with the um, orange concealer the um orange baking powder just orange everything i'm just like why is there an orange i know for deeper skin tones we do use it as a um color corrector but at the same time we're not going to go ahead and use an orange powder to set underneath our eyes like that's not going to brighten it whatsoever so i don't understand that i don't get it till this day because it doesn't make sense that's the only thing she needs to go ahead and fix and probably add a little bit more colors in there um but yeah i just want to go ahead and mention that because it's just it makes sense um but with that being said i may go ahead and try the concealer and the baking powder and if i do there will be a review on my channel so expect that really soon all right so those are all the products i do plan on getting i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video also don't forget to let me know down below what you guys plan on getting because i want to go ahead and see what you guys are in the mood for that way i can go ahead and buy it and review it on my channel um but i love you guys so much don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one